Welcome to uh, my channel today, Cool Econometrics. And today I'm going to be doing a short video to walk you through on how to extract monthly uh, the months of the year from uh, a data set. That's from the time from the time the time variable. So you have a time variable that has both the day, the month, and the year. But you're only interested in extracting the month of the year, probably because the analysis you want to do, you want to group them according to months and then uh, it's kind of difficult for you to do that. So this is a very simple way of doing it in uh, Stata. So first of all, this is my data here. For this data, it's a very simple data. Let's just look at it. It's a very simple data that uh, just has only the dates. So you could see this is, uh, this date contains the day, the month and the year. But let's say you're only interested in picking out the month of the year that you're just interested in picking out the month of the year because that is what you need for your analysis uh, the first thing you need to do is to uh, because you have to kind of um, make data I mean data aware that what you have that this variable called dates is actually uh, should be transformed to dates in terms of dates so uh, you have to let data know that you want that variable because as it is now if you describe the variable date it's coming out as a string so it's not really a date format as you can see it's not a date format so you want to change this variable string variable to date format and the way of doing that is by generating another variable maybe we'll call it whatsoever but i call it monthly and the function for doing that is the date function. So you are using the date function in Stata to um, change that data set into date format. And so this is the form uh, variable that I want to change to date format. And I want, I'm telling Stata that the way the variable is constructed in that, uh, in the data set, it's day comes before month and then month comes before year. So you could do it, you could change this order depending on what your your, your daily uh, dates look like. So in some cases, months may come before day, then before year, but in this case, day before month, before year. And then I do that, and then you see it generates my monthly variable. If we go back, this monthly variable now, data, data has kind of changed everything to date format, but the way Stata kind of um, recognizes date format, it changes it to number. And uh, if you want to learn more about that, there are resources online to see how date Stata kind of registers uh, dates as number. But Stata has now moved it to number, but you could also kind of inform Stata that I just, uh, but before we do that, let's now pick up. So what we have here is, as it is, just the dates, all right, the dates the day of the of the year so this is 170 17167 days from the from whatever date data counts as the first day so this is that and then you want well we just now want to tell stata that i want to pick the months out of these dates and then what you simply do is to use the command generate another variable you know let's call it dm and then you use this com this function called month M of D, it means month of date. So from that date, from that variable that I've, um, I've assigned as date, pick out the month, just pick out the month, and let me store it in the variable called DM. So if you run that, you go back to your, uh, your data set, you see now everything. So this DM is just the month. It's the month. It's doing it in form of numbers, but by the time we finish and we get the final, uh, the, the final um, uh, data set, it will take it back to. So the next thing we need to do now, just to tell Stata that okay, now format what you have as time, uh, you know, in, in terms of time, in terms of daily time, day, uh, hours, time, hours, day, months, year. So this is that our monthly variable in terms of the month, just registering only the month. And I'm telling you to reformat it to uh, to months. So this is a time series uh, format. But I'm telling you, the end there is months. If you want it to come out for, as day, you put D. If you want to get only the year, you put Y. But for this one, we're interested in the month. And if I run this, I'm going to have this. And that's it. So 
everything is always this, this is the original data the variable date that contains the day the month the year but now i only have the month so this is all these are month one for 2027 and then you could go down and down and down and see month 50 the month one for 20 2015 you could keep going and see month three so these are now in monthly format i hope this has been able to help you please uh, kindly subscribe if you have not done so and uh, expect to get more videos on how to do simple statistical uh, manipulations and kind of uh, working around with a data set. Thank you for listening. See you later. Bye.